SAM is the Facility for Airborne Atmospheric Measurements and it's a partnership between the Met Office and the Natural Environment Research Council uh, and it's a dedicated uh, large research aircraft you can see behind me uh, which the UK academic community and the Met Office use to study the weather and enhance our understanding of the weather and climate. The aircraft is capable of carrying about 18 scientists on any one flight and depending on the science uh, there may or may not be a full capacity. Uh, but we always have uh, one scientist who sits on the flight deck between the, the pilot and the co-pilot and that's the mission scientist and they have overall control of the scientific aims of that flight and they liaise with the air crew and decide what the aircraft will do next, whether it will climb or descend or turn or go back towards the, the clouds or whatever. So that's an important position to kind of juggle um, all the data that's coming in and air traffic restrictions and the prevailing weather and really try and get the most out of the flight. Some days we might be out flying through uh, convection or stratocumulus clouds, studying the microphysics and using those data to challenge the representation of those clouds in the unified model. Other days we might be underflying key satellite overpasses uh, using instrumentation on the aircraft to help us understand the data from those satellites and how we might use that more efficiently in the future. And other days we might be flying looking at urban visibility and air quality or looking at the impact of biomass burning or desert dust on the aircraft. There's a wide range of instrumentation on the aircraft. Obviously temperature, pressure, humidity, winds are all fairly standard meteorological parameters but also uh, under the wings on each side we can measure cloud and aerosol properties on five different uh, canisters on each wing and these measure the size and number concentration of aerosol particles and give us images of cloud droplets and ice crystals and we also have a drop sond system which allows us to launch a small drop sond. These are the same as the radio sonds but they fall through the atmosphere on a small parachute giving us temperature, humidity and wind profiles and uh, we send those data back to Exeter directly by satellite communication link uh, and they can be assimilated into the uh, unified model.